growing up in Paris, Texas, uh, there wasn't a lot of examples of painters. What we were looking at was like little golden books and uh, comic books and things like that. So for me, that was um, those were kind of the blueprints that I was going by. There was a point in time when I uh, realized that my strength was a kind of narrative, a kind of storytelling, and it was about character development. You know, it was like through the video games, through the films, through the cartoons, through the comics. That was a kind of a running uh, theme. It's like, well, you develop the character and that character's with you for the rest of your life. But in painting, uh, that kind of thing was usually discouraged, especially the aspect of, you know, telling these very explicit kinds of stories. Uh, I was always pushed towards vagary. But I, was, I, I kind of thought, you can have it all. I was like, why not? And uh, so I set out to, to, to try and carve out this new space, a space that I really wasn't seeing out there. This hand was sort of the hand of um, Sesame, who was this character in the work who uh, offered up this new lifestyle to, to the vegans and it ended up being a, a drastic failure <laughs> at the end. And I understand that for years it was in conversation with Philip Guston, who um, is one of my favorite artists. The main thing that I, that I learned from Philip Guston was to, to better understand the, the iconography that you're working with and to figure out how images connect to those very archetypal and important things within your life. I, I feel like Guston also taught me the ways of um, subversion in work. And so a lot of things are disguised in, uh, as the mounds, as the vegans, as Torpedo Boy. These aren't, aren't just funny, kind of absurdist characters. It's a way for me to talk about some of these, you know, hard to talk about issues that um, maybe I haven't even figured out for myself, but it's a way to work through them on the canvas and through stories.